There is one thing really cool, if you do it right, it will work, which is uh, converting the actual generic memes you see in social media to, to videos. Right. Hi everyone, we have Ahmed Zidane here today. Hi. Hi Ahmed, thanks for coming. Do you want to give us a quick intro? Yeah, so my name is Ahmed. I have been uh, working in social media for around uh, eight years between different positions. Now I'm handling uh, GK social media accounts as a head of content. And uh, uh, this is basically uh, all the uh, countries that's in GCC that we have and uh, handling a team of uh, around 10 social media executives. And how does your day-to-day -day, like go like at GK? Uh, so it's different from every, so some days we have uh, new releases, some days we need to focus on um, uh, different campaigns, some days we need to go to different stores for shooting, for uh, creating some new content directions, for uh, for example, uh, catching up with the trends and so on. You, you manage a TikTok page because I always see the yeah. content. Yeah. Yeah. I'm even featured on some of the videos. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm a bit late. I'm a bit behind. I need yeah. to uh, catch up. <laughs> yeah. So, how, like, as a gaming brand, like, how do you think social media shaped gaming the way it is now today? So, I think there are two main common things that's between social media and the gaming, and that's what's making actually gaming successful in social media. It's the Gen Z audience, which most of them are gamers, and the entertain entertaining aspect. So, if you look at social media and if you're actually working social media, which, <laughs> so uh, most of people that's like working on other categories, they think of uh, social media guys are like uh, 12 years kiddos playing on the internet, yeah. uh, which is not true because there is uh, uh, like three main aspects you always need to think of when uh, creating content, which are the, your content needs to be uh, slightly unhinged, it needs to be entertaining, and it needs to be understood by as many people as possible. Which here comes this reflection. Mm. What do you mean by unhinged in this case? Uh, so, I'll tell you. Uh, if you look at social media, like uh, most people, or I, I, I won't say most people, but many people, are pushing for uh, polished ads. Uh, That's not why people are social media for. Like, uh, if I'm if I'm active on social media, it's because I want to get away from whatever shit show is going on in the world. So I need an entertaining content. Uh, I need to see. Uh, I need to see uh, bloody humans. I need to be. I need to see imperfection. Yes, mm. imperfection. So what I mean by slightly unhinged is that uh, people needs to see imperfection in content. Mm -hmm. You need to see real, uh, real content. You need to be, be, be so, so you need to be real. You need to be, uh, you need to get away from polished ads. If you are pushing for polished ads, you are mm -hmm. not giving the values that people are looking for. So this is why people like gaming content, basically, because yeah. you have people like... Uh, exactly, because if you see streamers, if you see yeah. even gaming directors, they share the same uh, aspect of entertainment. They are real, so that's why it. It says the industry is booming, actually. Yeah, they just shoot it at home. They're just cursing, playing, exactly. or like minimum editing. Okay. And what do you think is the most important social media platform for gaming? Okay, can I say three? Yeah, you can. Uh, first, it would be Twitch, of course, because of its streaming platforms. Mm -hmm. And uh, comes YouTube, okay. uh, because of the uh, YouTube it has three things, so you can either look for a review for the game you want, or even watch uh, uh, game reveal trailers, all this stuff. You can even, you can you, you can even see streamers there, and also you can see posts like uh, which uh, YouTube they now have posts, and it's really really booming. You can see posts about different games. You mean like short or the posts? Ah, so posts. Okay. Yeah. So you can even post a picture, and uh, so same. So it has these three. Have you zapped into that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. We have been we have been uh, working on this now, and it's uh, it's getting better and better with every mm. post. Like it's exactly like if you are posting a picture on Instagram. Okay. Same thing. Same thing. thing. It's 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 really good feature. And uh, third thing, third thing for us as a gaming retailer, uh, it would be Snapchat, because you need always to uh, shoot content at the stores. You need to 
show people what's going on mm. and so on. Especially like in this region, right? Especially in this region, oh, because the GCC, so yeah, Snapchat is a... Uh, okay. Successful. And how does the distribution of content for gaming brands like ch vary from, let's say, a fashion brand? Like you guys put out so much content on so many platforms. Yeah. So it's a bit more challenging, I think, in gaming because in every week we have at least four or five new releases. Mm, up games or updates. It can be games, it can be hardware, like uh, a new device, a new like console, uh, uh, new keyboard, mouse, a new collection. So we, we need to always be focused on uh, what releases we have. We always have this content calendar. Yes, this week we have this and this and this. So uh, it's more fast paced, I would say, uh, in uh, in gaming, and uh, it needs more proper attention. And you also need to be more uh, catchy with the trends and, and what's going on. So it's impossible to really plan ahead. Like you can yeah. plan what you're doing, but you can't have the. Trust me, you'll always find pop ups. Mm. Yeah. Okay. It happens all the time. Okay, I can I can imagine if uh, yeah. yeah I can. But of course, planning helps a lot, mm. but you need to be prepared. That some okay. things and some things will change you. Yeah. Okay, okay. And who's who's the biggest uh, gaming influencer in the region, and what makes them the biggest? Uh, I would say Abu Fal. Of course, he's uh, he's the biggest yeah. influencer in terms of engagement and in terms of uh, even audience loyalty. We really love him because he's what we've been talking before. He's real. He's imperfect. Yes, he he shows sadness. He shows imperfection in really really good way. Uh, so uh, he's even helping uh, charity organizations uh, and so on. So, how okay, cap? Okay, makes sense. And uh, what makes like how do you change the content and your approach from game to game and let's say from country to country? Like you have so many games on under your platform. How how do you yeah strategize? So this really needs a proper understanding and it needs a, a good research on uh, what games are popular in the region. For example, some games are really popular in Saudi Arabia, like God of War. Mm. Uh, if we are doing, for example, a launch event, we should do it there mm. uh, because, like, we have done like an event there for God of War. It was really, really crazy. Like, mm. you can find people queuing up for the midnight launch, like around like two hundred, three hundred. Oh wow! Then, Security is coming. Well, what's <laughs> what's going on? Okay. So yeah, uh, it needs to proper research. What games are really like? Like one game could be popular in this region. One game could be popular in another region. Mm. And so, for example, in in Egypt, some games are really popular, like Valorant, Counter Strike, because it's free game. Mm. It's not requiring a, a, a high end PC or uh, high specs. In the region here, most of people are console players. Mm. Uh, so you would focus more on games uh, such as uh, Sony exclusives or PlayStation exclusives such, such as God of War or uh, Red Dead Redemption, other titles like that. And when you're, when you're like working on different games, like when you're marketing different games, how do you vary it like based on the game itself as well, aside from the country? So uh, we have three main things. So uh, we do a game review on YouTube, like saying the pros and cons of each mm -hmm. game and so on. We even uh, shoot a gameplay for a team so people can have a proper understanding what game is yeah. looking like and so on. And uh, so this is the entertaining content I'm talking about. So we are not just selling games. Oh yeah, this game is here is a price. Is it? yeah. Yeah. It's not working like this. So uh, people need to have more understanding of what this game is like, what is the rating of this game, what do we think of this game mm. and so on. Then after all of this, we can like, and tell them the price. Yeah, Annou announce the game probably uh, with, uh, with the post like where is the uh, location's availability and mm. so on. So, for example, GK, we have now 38 stores. Mm. So, uh, availability is a big challenge. So, for example, some games would be available in one store and not one store, it will not be available in the other store. So, you need to have all this info before. Before, before 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 communicating it to the consumer, yeah, and you start getting a lot of complaints and a lot of messages it on social. It happens, but uh, it's not a lot. But it needs to be handled in a proper way. Like it's uh, it's more challenging. How do you deal with each uh, consumer and how you make them satisfied? For example, someone is uh, complaining that he he received his game late or mm. other like this. You need to make him satisfied. How he's mm. how he how we leave this without any issues. Okay. 
And the final question for today, what's the most iconic piece of content that you've seen from any gaming brand or any gaming influencer or maybe from uh, GK as well? Uh, okay, I would say from GK for now, it's uh, during the launch of FIFA, the new, the new FIFA, FIFA 23. Yeah. We have done a video of uh, like someone uh, getting the game and uh, he's putting it in the car, uh, putting the seat built and uh, his, his wife sitting in the, the back. In the back, yeah. So it's basically, it's this video gone viral. It got around 14 million views. Okay. And around uh, 1 million likes. On which platform? TikTok. TikTok. On TikTok. Okay. And uh, it was crazy because on, in a matter of two, three days, we got like 100K followers. Oh, wow. So it was, it was really crazy. So then it was, a, it was actually a learning case for me that there is one thing really cool. If you do it right, it will work, which is uh, converting the actual generic themes you see in social media to videos, to videos. Like for example, this was very, very popular meme when you see it like someone is having the seat built on the PlayStation and the games and his wife is sitting or his girlfriend is sitting on the mm-hmm. website. So why not we try to create this as a video and mm-hmm. see, see simulate it actually and see how it will work. Oh, so, that's, uh, that's great. That's great. So yeah, and it's also part of the content I have been talking about, which is uh, your content needs to be uh, on that sugar. It needs to be a natural, it needs to be imperfect and it needs to be understood and entertaining mm-hmm. by many people as possible. All right, makes sense. I'm gonna t- go try this out now. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, well, thanks a lot for joining us. It was a pleasure. Thank you. And bye guys.